Hi, all my friends. I'm Oliver from Tokyo Hobby. Nice to see you again. Now I bring you one flat trailer. It is a few with their six axles trailer. Uh, it is mostly suitable for Tamiya uh, this track truck. So controlling your excavator or loader. So uh, we will open to see it. So many small parts for protection, so I will put this all in a box. Here we got, we will open to see. So first it's a manual and uh, stickers. This manual, many talk about lights, receiver, how to arrange the lights. We will put here. So we got the wires, lights, connections. It's all here and the one plate should be the back cover. It's all wires here. Okay, we put good arrangement all here. And then I have to remove all this small foam, then I can take out the trailer. Yeah, it is well protected. Okay, should be able. We believe this letter will be going on there. Okay, it looks like got most parts will be metal because it's quite heavy, right? Okay, I will put here for a while. I will remove this box so you could see it. Okay. I will take one more look if anything remains in the box. No, that's all. Only remaining foam there. So now I will cut it so you can see all the looks, how it is. Very cool. It got wood, plate, metal, and wood. See that. Okay, not to cut any pen. You can start from here. Mm -hmm. Some place painting black, some metal part still have the metal color, not painting. Looks also very good. Actually, I like the, the metal color to, to feel the strongness of the metal. So. Okay, so now we can see the outlook of this one. It's also first one for me to see. This one we got the frame, it's all metal, and on top this plate metal of wood. Also shiny metal not painted in the middle. The black steel painting. This one stainless steel. And stainless steel we got the light connections. We will turn it around to see. Here we got the frame, we can attach some box or something, or so could be protection for the this standing, this stainless steel. We got six axles for this one. We see the hub, it's all shiny metal. Inside for sure we'll have bearings, so can move slowly, smoothly. We see, okay, we check the stand suspension. It is one piston with with this cylinder inside should be the spring 
and also we got a stainless plate here with a connection here also take a little the, the pressure to have some spring effect all these suspensions are the same yeah okay you can get a close look so these connections the bolts have the shaft the axle is locked to this suspension so got to the rear side this plate can put some hook also here we have the living some space for the lights that I need to assemble by ourselves. We got the mud plate rubber. Okay, this mud plate. Alright, this one mud plate it's plastic. We got the support it is stainless steel. Okay, what's more to see? Should be the front, this one. Uh-huh. You see the tiny. The front, this one, and the rear three axles are turning different direction. But this one is not turning, this one no have turning effect. So we got the front, the first one, and this one. Okay, this one also should be turning somewhere stuck that I need to check. No, this one cannot turn. From here you can see. It's it's locked this one. This this axle is fixed, not for turning. Only this one and the rear four axle can turn. So the front one and the rear four axle are turning different directions, so we can turn it with a small circle. We got one servo, let's see. This servo should be Controlled by this one after connected with power. When this one turning, this is turning because of your tractor truck is turning, so this is also turning and uh, give signal to the rear side. This servo will in the meantime turn the, the wheels, the axles, so to make a small circle turning. Okay, let's see this standing. Should be somewhere we can. Pull it out. Let me see. Here we got one pin. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, this is the pin. Okay, I removed it. Nah, <laughs> not good. I used too much power. So how to put that inside? It's from there. No pins. From here, I will put it back again. Not pulling out too much, otherwise the spring lost its power. Okay, good. So it looks like this one. We will push it down. Okay, now we can put it in. Later we can pull it out. Yeah, it's like this. We put push the pin in, and then we can put it back. This is controlled by hand. Okay, it's locked. Let we can pull it out again. A very strong one. This one is a little smooth. First time movements, a little bit tight. Oh, here we also got one spare tire, but this is only a decoration. Because, uh, yeah, it's a real one. Can change with this. We got the same hub. This one can be a spare one for changing. So for this one, it is the standard version from factory. It got only wires, connections, but uh, no lights. Let me see if I, yeah, I have lights. It got only light, so later can be assembled by yourself, or we can assemble it. These are all the lights, cover, boots, the LED, the connections wire. This is the control board. Yeah, these are all the wires. So no sound. The sound should be from your tractor, the truck. Let's see this side. Okay, it's pretty much all the same. So only got one, only one servo for turning. It's all connected. From this side, you will see the connecting road here. It is all connected by from this servo from here to turn it. 
The only is the connection are different, it will turn different direction. Okay, from top, you can see also the big bearing from here. For the shaft, this axles, the seat containing with the big bearing sit on the main girder. We also got some decoration box here. Mm -hmm. Very interesting one. So later, after we got time, this one is really takes time for assemble all these small LED lights. After assemble, put battery and uh, put one tractor. When we drive the tractor turning, this one controlled by this. The steering will turn the uh, together. The servo and the wheels will be quite interesting. Also, it is let's see here we got some uh, the holes here. Later can put upgrade some some bar here to secure it. You can put the woods or something cargo not to rolling around. Okay. Okay, this is pretty much all this one. So, if you want to see the functions, we'll take time later. Uh, after we, my colleague and me, we will assemble the LED lights and put one tractor. We will drive it around to show you. For now, it is all this what I can show you. Okay, thank you very much. Any questions? Welcome to talk to me anytime. See you next time. Bye bye.